questions or comments. If not, we'll move into the public hearing portion of the meeting. All right. All right, we'll move into the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Yes, ma'am, you can't refer to Good evening, my name is Gretchen Porterman. I live at 6565 Porterman Road. My mailing address is 3338 Country Club Road, number L336. I first of all want to say thank you to JD and um, Jason for sending us these little four pages that we got. Um, it was very helpful. Um, and I also want to say thank you for having a public hearing because now that changes to the OBC don't go to the Planning Commission, this is the only chance that citizens have to say anything about changes. And I appreciate you hearing me this evening. Um, you know that I'm uh, an opponent to private well systems since the get-go. And every time that the county has to bail one out, it's on the taxpayers of the, citizen, the county to you know, fix up Lake Lapaha or fix up Spring, whatever that one was. Or, um, anyway, I'm not keen on those private wells. Um, so I would be happy if we never had another private well ever. In the vocabulary that you've used here, you said, um, the permanent on-site generator-based backup power is required to maintain and have the capability to consistently serve the entire system. Consistent means to do the same thing every time you do it. Consistently, the same thing every time you do it. I think the word you want to choose there is continuously, which means that you're doing it all the time. I could consistently put a generator at the um, oh, Port Porterman Crossing right by me. They were, they were out of water all those days. Um, I could have it on 12 hours. And off 12 hours, and that would be consistent. It wouldn't be continuous. I think the word you want to choose is continuous. My mother was an English teacher. Um, sort of horrified to hear that we might have uh, subdivisions of 80 lots with a private well. That would that's horrifying to me. Um, on the tree bank. Um, that whole tree bank thing is new, right? All right, and, and right now there's rules about if you cut down a specimen tree, you have to put it back with a certain amount of stuff. Uh, we've had, I think somebody said 40,000 trees come down in the city alone, so we're sort of short on trees right now. Um, and we're changing Streetscaping to landscaping, and I like that change a lot because streetscape implies that you're on the street side. Landscape is the whole lot, um, and that the change change enterprise account to a fund. Uh, does a fund mean it goes in the general fund? How does, what does a fund mean? So I'm a little unclear on that wording there. I know what an enterprise account is, and an enterprise account is the money from this stuff. Developers pay money for a thing, or citizens pay money for a thing, like street lighting, and it, then money comes out of that to pay that thing. With this tree thing, it's not clear to me how that money is going to be kept and accounted. Um, so I'd rather have an enterprise account rather than fund. Fund is kind of sketchy. Um, then, on the 80 lots, I didn't get the list of 11 goals either. That wasn't in the stuff I got, but that's okay. Um, questions regarding the proposed <coughs> policy goals. The policy goals are not conditions and would not require variance. I get that. They would be enforced on a case-by-case -case basis for each applicable subdivision that is choosing to expand. They would be enforced through cooperation with the county manager. Um, okay. Did we switch to a monarchy here that the county manager gets to say yes or no, or will there be some commission in involvement in the, we made this, somebody wants to make these 80 lots, and the county manager, whoever he or she is, says, okay, and you can have a private well, um, 
or does the commission get to, I think this is unclear about what the elected body's um, role is. Um, and the TRC is, it goes on to say, you know, TRC after the announcement of the TRC. The TRC is staff, so they're going to do what the boss wants. At least that's been my experience since I've been paying attention. Um, it, I do like that it gave an explicit list of um, grandfathered subdivisions that could expand um, some of those off of Cat Creek in. Um, I, would, I would agree with that. Anyway, um, we didn't have very much time to look at this. We got this this afternoon after 2 o'clock. Um, <coughs> other citizens, okay, and their stakeholders. Um, I don't know if how much feedback you got from the chamber or the home builders and all of that. Did, did they see this final? Because Jason said this morning that they were working on it over the weekend. <coughs> have they received that? Did they get it? Did you get any feedback or did you send it out? Jen, you got nothing. Uh, as Jason correctly said, I have concerns about the process and the timing. Um, but I'm gonna guess that probably nobody but me actually cares um, until their house goes underwater and Chadwick subdivision was approved because somebody bought wetlands credits to make permanent world the way it is and now all those people out there have houses that were flooded or ditto uh, soon to be Valdell Estates, the lowest of those lots. They, that couldn't have been three years ago that we said, um, no, Army Corps says it isn't wetlands. Wetlands is where the water runs to, whether we like to say it's wetlands or not, and we are very wet here. So I have general concerns about how we do planning and zoning. Um, my specific comments you've now heard, and I would ask that you would table this um, until you can figure out exactly what, what, don't rush. There's no reason ever to rush. Signed. 